Uh, hello, my name is Midnight Mothman, and today we're playing Dead Witch Gave Chase. Um, which is an interesting title, very Lovecraftian in my opinion. It's a game where we're playing a Masha in a kind of Arctic landscape. It could be Alaska, it could be, well, the Arctic. And it's supposed to be a horror game, so let's get right into it. Let's do a new game, I've never played this before, of course. It already sounds pretty unique. I don't think I've ever played a game where I've played a masher. Okay. That's weird. Oh, it's dark. I should maybe... Turn the... There we go, turn the uh, brightness up a little bit. There we go, I turned the brightness up a little bit, so you can see better. Because I don't think it's going to be fun just seeing the darkness the whole time. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming this is him saying that because it's in... In quotes. Let's, let's do a voice for him. <clears throat> we should could... We should keep moving. Okay. Let's move. Okay, I can left click to do stuff. Our doggies. What's their names? I can pet them. Cute. I'm gonna pet all of them before we continue. Because they're all good boys and girls. Lift anchor to move. Oh, that's that's really interesting. I like that. I thought it would just be like W to start. But yeah, A and D to st uh, steer. But there's actually things we can do. You can use an anchor. Forgive my impatience. I have placed a lot of trust in you. Wish I didn't have to, but my hand is forced. Time will show if you're the right person for the job. We can tilt the sleigh. Or the sled, rather. It's not a sleigh, is it? It was fortunate thing for both of us that I found you when I did. I can tell you you're determined, willing to be brave to brave the cold when few others would. Your efforts will not go unnoticed. Okay, this is already interesting. I have no idea what's going on. We are playing taxi for some dude. Snow doggy taxi. Can I? I guess if we don't, uh, if we don't uh, move properly, we might be able to. Fresh. I think much will come of this. It is time for me to return to finish the work I've started. Gave Chase. It's such a unique name. I always uh, confuse it with like Dead, w Dead Witch Follows, something like that. I don't know. Something follows. Keep steady. Yeah, I'm trying. It's always hard to see when we are actually steady. Where are we going anyway? Are we going down from like a mountain top or something? That's kind of dangerous. Oh boy. <laughs> Why are you grinning at me? <laughs> Stop grinning. You creepy old bastard. Oh boy. I don't want my dogs to break their legs while going down here. <laughs> that was airtime. It's 
this a valley? Also, nothing is giving chase so far. Which I think should make me happy. The cabin should be close. A cabin. If they're still here, we'll meet them soon. Who? Your friends? You know, my first thought is that we might be scientists because why else would you be like in an in an Arctic area, right? I mean, sure, there's people living here, but most of the time, if you hear anything about it, it's either people who are thrill seekers, or you know, scientists interact with the anchor. Oh. I did that. Why didn't it work before? Okay. Equip lantern. Oh, that's mine. There's something up there. You see that? Oh, another time skip. I don't think I even reacted to the first one. It, it was so jarring that it just happened. I, dude, you having my you have my lantern. I need that back. Are you crazy? Not much further. I feel like whenever I voice him, I sound a little bit creepier each voice line. Remember that this is just the first step. Okay. First step for what? All your efforts up to this point will be matched twofold. Or worse. This is always the true test. Oh, it's happening again. One I have failed again and again. Are we being snow blind or I feel like this is like a little bit of a spirit journey. Maybe. You know? Oh, time skip again. A weapon? Oh. There's a reindeer. So, we probably sh point at somewhere else. <laughs> okay, dude. We should probably shoot, like, the shoulder blade area. Nice. Oh, I actually have to reload. You may be of some use after all. We actually have to reload every step of the way. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is that? Almost ruined. That wasn't my fault. Their behavior remains strange to me. Though I understand it much better now. Oh. Okay, we're alone. That's not good. Why does it tell me to run? <laughs> I already know that. It's not giving me... Oh. That tree was moving weirdly. I really love the music. It's like this droning ambience and I really... Should I kill that? But I know why I did. There's this. Oh, it's mushrooms. I thought it was weird that he was like collecting some goo or something. Something there. Ah, nothing. Oh, there's another one. That's so weird. Why are they so weird? gonna let him go that's a very spooky reindeer I'm hearing another one do you hear that
Yeah. Just gonna follow the mushrooms. They kind of look really active, if you ask me. Assuming this is the right way, it kind of looked like a road that would... Oh. Oh. Is this out of order? This feels like it's out of order. The path splits. We build these to serve as guideposts. You'll learn not to place much trust in your senses here. Least of all your memory. This way. For a second there, I thought he was holding a baguette or something. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, dude, this is the only way, right? Let's be real. There's really no other way except forward. This. Those reindeer again. It's so weird. Why are there so many and they're behaving weirdly? animals right like they don't live in groups usually do they i could be completely wrong kind of assuming oh what are you doing examine the sign it will show us the way dude almost crashed into us Look at the sign. It must be this way. I mean, we were going that way. I recall our first crossing here, out in the great sea ice, with no landmarks to guide us. Hearts unyielding in the face of endless struggle. I knew the way would reveal itself to us eventually. He's smiling again so weirdly. Okay, if you say so. I still don't really know what we're doing here except collecting mushrooms and having a weird spiritual journey, I guess. I mean, you know, it could be anything that light, but whenever I see something like that, I think like shaman stuff. Is it shaman or shaman? I think it's shaman. It's a cool word though. Look, bring us to that signpost. Come on! It's so weird to use that anchor. Sometimes it just doesn't want to be used. Throw here. Do you see? Yeah, I do see. There's no need to worry. We persevere. We are rewarded. With what? Dude, dude just speaks in riddles. I feel like he can really be a scientist because they tend to not do that. Oh, there's a cabin again. Let's go there. Oh, hey. <laughs> Up again. Empty. Oh, nice time jump again. That's spooky. Here, your lantern. Are we playing different people? We should continue. 
Like this could be his previous one. This is no place for rest. This could be his previous expedition and we're playing the second one. Who knows? What was up there? Maybe another signpost that we didn't see in the beginning. I feel like I should look behind us from time to time <laughs> if you think what the game is called. That which gave chase. So far nothing. You've gotten us far, Mosho. I feel like, yeah, I did. That's my job. When I first came through here, I understand, understood so very little. Not unlike you. Perhaps it was vain ambition that first led me to go further than any of my companions deemed responsible. That lies in the past. I know now what my purpose is. Leading me into my doom? It is the journey itself that draws us. Give your life to the pursuit of one thing and your hard work will be rewarded. It's not a bad way of living, I think. This place is the Sith. Pass through and you shall find all your imagined woes have been left behind. But know this. The ghosts that give chase through the grey will never leave your side. No matter how far you go. This is pretty cool so far. It's a slow burn, definitely, but I like that. I like that in games. There's that light again. We first came through as if dragged from a rope. So we asked them Do you wish to leave? I do. I intend to stay. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh! Have I told you what became of that deathless deer? That's really creepy, holy hell! You have not. My expedition was sip slipping through my fingers. We were being humiliated by the conditions, and all efforts to chart a course were fruitless. Yet, somehow, these stupid creatures were able to just to not just survive, but thrive. We're back. The atmosphere in this game is already over 100. Oh, he's gone. What the heck? What happened to him? What happened in this time jump? There he is again. You know what you want to know what I think? I think you've gotten us lost, Mosha. I didn't. No, 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 no. F you. Just continue. At some point, we have to find something. Like that deer. Oh! Are you crazy?
Does the snow on the horizon look a little bit red or am I becoming snow blind? No. Oh, time skip again. Lost. No, no, no. We're not lost. We're just doing some additional sightseeing. That's what I would call it. Where are you taking us? My dude, I have no idea. You hired me. You should know the way. I gotta say, these time jumps are fantastic. I love them. Yeah, they're jarring, but I think they're supposed to be. Like, they confuse me a lot. Again, I'm not sure if this is all in order. I think some of this might be out of order. And it's awesome. Loving it. Oh, I thought we were about to fall. <laughs> Lost. Show me. We kill one of those guys. Guess not. Did he? Did I not hit him? Oh, did you see that? I wouldn't do that if you, uh, if I were you. He's not real, is he? Did I, did I see something that I shouldn't have seen? Let's just go a different way then. Am I taking us? This is repeating, so I'm assuming I need to do something specific. At the doggos. Look at the happy doggo. They're enjoying the chin scratches. Oh. Next time skip. I am lost. Let's kill one of those deer. We follow. Clearly. Clearly. I should have done it faster. So I won't, as soon as we follow there. Let's follow. We were eager to study these animals. To learn how they could thrive in such an unforgiving place. We withheld one from its heart. Five of us in tow of the deer, though we were not content in simply being led across. How did it know where to go? How did it chart its course? Once said, the animal could hear the faint beating of hooves across the ice. So we cut off its ears. Another proposed it could see the slightest intentions in the indentations in the snow. And we took out its eyes. Yet, we emerged on the other side and the creature was reunited with its heart. As if it knew things it could not have been thought or used senses we could not take from it. 
That's very cool. And very gruesome. You're fucked. You're crazy. See? We persevere. If you ever come to doubt your decision to come here, think about where you were when I found you. What your life was. Here, your life will mean something. I've brought you here for a specific purpose. So listen closely. Ah, I knew. Oh my god. Hell. This is not good. Go boys, go! I'm not looking to die today. Holy shit, that was very close. Faster! He, he can't scream. He has smoked too much. Faster! I'm not looking to die today! We did die today. Do we have to do it all again? Oh boy. Yeah, it was important to move the, the sled properly. There we go. We're kind of close to the spot where we just died. Oh, we're moving a lot of snow. Did you just see that? That's really cool. Oh! That was a good ending with us. What do I pay you for? Well, we survived, dude. Did you hear that? We survived. A thank you is not that much to ask for, is it? Oh, there's another... Another cavern. alone should I go in was it a mistake when the place choose to give directions oh one thing is certain here we are completely at the mercy of the conditions all attempts to crossing this thick mist on our own have failed with neither water sky nor ice bling to guide us we always end up right where we started when the place chooses to give directions we have no choice but to follow. Okay. That's a mountain. Cool. Entrance to the eastern side, March 18th, 1892. I'm not sure what purpose my writing could serve, but I still find value in it. Perhaps it's just for my own sanity. Writing has me recall has me separate my own thoughts and memories from theirs. This is after all what I'm paid to do. 
we have settled into our roles rather well, albeit with one glaring exception. His accounts of the North made great impact on me in my youth. What the? There's something missing, right? His accounts of the North made great impact on me in my youth. So strong was the allure of the sections of the world map still uncharted, that I found myself standing in port with all my belongings wrapped up in cloth. I've always considered myself a careful, logical person. Yet, there I was, willing to put everything on the line to be given the chance to return with an account of my own. The crew there assembled was a curious sight. Misplaced among five hardened expeditionists stood I, a failed rider, along with two artists and of course the ill-fated young botanist. All handpicked by our own great leader, a man whose name once carried some renown in certain circles. In his eyes I saw that same light which shone so fiercely on the horizon leading us to the first side. I recall that my heart sank for the saying for I knew that light would only ever lead us further into the grey. Okay. For the outsider. The one who is being led. We see you too. The dude is going to be here, right? Oh, okay, no. He's not. I guess... Oh! You better start paying attention. What the heck? We are not safe here. That's really cool. So we are being watched by people that died in previous expeditions, is that it? So when we go up here, it's, it feels kind of what we should do. Oh my god, this is hard. Oh boy. Is this correct? I think we might not be able to get up here. Oh no, we are. Oh boy, that was a hard... A hard mission to get up here. Ah, what was that hole in that journal? I didn't say anything, but that was really creepy. It looked like a, a hole that you stand to and lose yourself. Or it could be that light that we see, you know? Kind of has that vibe a little bit. Oh! Cool. Do you hear that? It sounds like ice breaking in a way. You may continue to retrace the steps that brought you here. They will never alter. Are we in a time loop? Because you're right, we will always find that, that cabin. Things change. Sometimes he goes in, I went in now. sure I understand yet. I'm not sure if I uh, I will understand at the end of this, if I'm being honest. Examine the sign, it will show us the way. Come on. There we go. This way. We were going that way, dude. Do not worry. Here, we are all bound to, the, to its grip. My body unable to move. My memories no longer my own. But I was able to reach you. 
and be your guide. He's smiling again. Now we are much the same. Is it cross again? Oh! You spend your whole life here. Just you and your dogs. An outsider. I know what that's like. When we arrived, we were outsiders to this place. Cause of imbalance. But it took a liking to us. As long as I'm needed, I'm unable to leave. Now, gone is the fear and the doubt. All paths have been revealed to me. Yours and mine. I thought he was gone for a second there. My task is reduced to something so simple. To follow. There's that light again. Oh, there's mushrooms. I didn't see them before. There's something wrong with these mushrooms. For a second there he looked like a skeleton. Is he going to ask me something again? In viewing the events that led up to this moment. I understand that I have been asked to play the part of the opposer. Standing not in the way, but alongside it. Who by ingesting poison let rot set in and replaced old flesh with new. I only can take it, huh? I could tell you that I planned for this course of events to take place, but I know better than that now. Not unlike you, I am a victim of, victim of circumstance. Do not ask me to reason. The reasoning of your own mind may be as impenetrable to you as reasoning of others. The sum of a half remembered feeling and a long forgotten dream. Are we drinking ayahuasca or something? What's going on here? We're on a trip or something, right? To you, I was a hand in the dark. A stranger stood waiting in the in a forest. I took you in, trod the path you followed so effortlessly. Now, just as I brought you here, you will bring me out. looks like a swamp mummy if you've never seen a mummy that's like fish been fished out of like a swamp on on old timey like you know i don't know what to call it honestly like you know peat there's mummies that you can find in peat and oh i have mushrooms inside me I get the feeling this is not good that I'm doing this. Oh boy. 
That is so cool. Do I have control of the... Of the time now or something? Something weird is happening. Recall that on the outskirts of the borders of this place sits a small village, dug in among the pines. So we need to find that. And preferably not be killed by the dude who's now our opposer. And I'm assuming we will kill him, which is the only way for him to leave this place, right? I feel like that makes sense to me. I feel like whenever someone's like stuck in a loop, you have to eliminate them in a way. However that might be. And in our case, well, we don't even have a weapon right now, so that might be a problem for us. I'm assuming the dude took it. But also, why were mushrooms growing out of us? That is so freaking weird. Very weird, and yet I enjoy every part of this. Are we the guy? Wait, did we, did we change roles? Am I no longer the musher? Or did he steal our uh, sled? That might be it too. Either way, we follow the tracks. Sorry for a lot of questions, but I love to ask myself, like, what's going on? And now I watch movies or play games. I feel like that's half the fun. Making up your own theories and see uh, what's actually accurate in the end. Oh. That's our sled. Nope, that's not our sled. That's a... A dead reindeer. Another dead one. And another dead one. Any mushrooms for me? No. I sound like a junkie. Any mushrooms for me? Scratching my neck. No, no, no. We have a mission. What the heck is that? Could be bullet casings, I guess. I'm a bit lost here. <laughs> The tracks just stopped. Oh. Are you dead? I don't know if I had to, but... What the heck? There he is! The presentation in this game is... Fucking fantastic. just teleported not in the universe oh see that the effect kind of changed which makes me believe uh, the game sorry that's me just knowing too much about games I think we were set into a new area Should I eat another mushroom? Is that what I need to do? 
get high. Yep. I need to follow them. Fuck you, dude. It's mine. Give me back my doggies. It's like God was shining down on me or something. A, a deity. Something like that. Problem is, what do I do with them? I don't have a weapon. Okay, we're going to the right direction. The paw prints. They stop again, god damn it. Oh, no, they continue. Oh, we might be clo uh, close to the cabin, maybe? If this is repeating again and again. I know we went down like a uh, area like this. Oh, that's different trees. To be fair, you could be hiding here too. Okay, that's- oh no. Where's my dogs? What did you do with them? What the? Was it a reindeer or him making a noise? No, that's my dogs. Doggy! Scratch, scratch. Ah, I need to find my dogs and then go back to my sled. I'm coming, doggy. I think Masha do don't generally give the dogs names, right? Nice. And there's a cabin. Let's go in. Take a quick look, see. Oh. Yeah, nice. I have a weapon. I've had so much time to think without arriving any closer to the truth. None of us are fully lost. We are still here. Content with rel reliving the past through its eyes. It has shown me answers to questions long forgotten. I no longer recall how to ask my own. He wishes to bring it out. To let it do there what it has done here. I don't know whether to stop him or help him. Let him rot in his cave. I prepare for one final journey and pray it leads me elsewhere. Or nowhere at all. Not here. So, Rod in his cave, that's me. Uh, I'm assuming... It has something to do with me. Not on side variant A. Everything is kept safe from the noise of time. I think I'm the problem here. Should take a mushroom. Yep. Oh! You're definitely being shot at. 
that's why I got mushrooms to heal myself. I need one more. And we're being shot at by that dude. <laughs> Sounds so sad. I just want to scratch him. Oh, that was really close. That's so cool. It actually led me to this uh, sled. I thought it's going to be hard to find it again, but no. Actually, that's so smart of the game to do. Love that. Ah, we were teleported. I saw that. That's a time jump, I guess. A small one. We should follow that. As we have learned before. Always follow the reindeer. Yep, there's another one. Another one. I love that the game actually taught us what to do now that no one's here to help us. We're a bit slow though. Ouch. Get up. Oh no. I'm alone and hurt. I saw someone. At least I saw a shadow, I think. The heck is that music? So when it becomes red, someone's aiming at me. That's so cool. didn't kill him I hit him in the face and I saw brain matter <laughs> splatter over the screen how embarrassing missing two times getting red wasn't good bad for you I have healing do I have to die here is that the outcome I don't think so Finally.
being all of it. It felt right, but maybe it was wrong. That's his corpse. As long as he doesn't turn around and look at me, it's all good. I feel like the happy end would be find the little village. I don't know if he will. Oh, his head moved. Disgusting. I do think he's still slumped over. Yeah, he is. You're also not seeing any reindeer anymore. Is his hand going to move? No. That which gave chase. And here we are, we just finished that which gave chase and I think I only have to sing praise for this game. When it comes to games that use PSX optics, uh, graphics in a way like this does, um, while I love them, again, I'm a big fan of like the old PlayStation one time era and I'm always, I'm always giving games a chance that use this, this art style in a way to tell a story. But I think a problem that a lot of games have, and a lot of like first time developers maybe even, that they want the player to see the conclusion and the cool stuff in the game fast. Which is not something that horror movies or books necessarily do. Sure, there's these movies that give you like a jump scare every five minutes that, that's more like comparable to, I don't know, um, a roller coaster type story and that's fine but if you think about like all the great stories um they they t take their time to tell the story right the um there's not no like extreme thrills to be found there's um they let it just naturally rise until it comes to the conclusion and becomes creepy or scary and i don't think this was necessarily scary but it's 100% the best PlayStation 1 type game I've played. Um, without a doubt, I think. Um, we're not taking something like uh, Iron Lung into, into the mix because I feel like that's its own thing. But this, is, this started also as, as an Ichio game. And without sounding mean, I feel like the... The general quality of Ichio games is a bit lower than, let's say, something that was released on Steam. And this game has been released on Steam. Um, and it should be. Because this was an hour that was super interesting to me. I, I, I talked about how I like to put down my own theories, think about the story. And a lot of games don't allow me to do that because they are over in 10 minutes. 
right? Like there's there's no time to have any theories because the game is unveiling everything that it has as fast as it can. This game lets you breathe, lets you think, lets you put one on one together. Um, yeah, I think I was right though, story wise, we were probably stuck in a time loop. And everyone else died, definitely, right? It still doesn't explain why the reindeer were so dangerous, I guess because they consumed the mushroom, which gave them some hallucinations in a way. Um, but I, what I said in the end that we had to kill each other to get out of the loop seems right. And the ending was kind of open-ended, right? It could 100% be that this guy is the one who killed all the other people to try to get out of the loop. And now he was killed by us and we are still stuck with his corpse on our sled, right? Again, I, I love that. I'm still thinking about this game and I can guarantee you I'll be thinking about that game tomorrow. Um, respect for that. I'm super excited what uh, this developer does next. I, I will 100% play it. Um, I follow them on Twitter, so I, I will see. And I hope, just like me, you had a great time. And I hope to see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.